I hope all of you are successfully avoiding the beer plague at this point. You know that thing that YouTube won't let you say out loud that comes from that place you're not allowed to say out loud? Wash your hands, stay away from public places like, you know, theaters, shopping centers, stuff like that, you know. And, you know, international shipping, obviously a bad thing to do at this time, very obviously. So, um, just, you know, do be careful, please. You know, even uh, even the, the place I work at, they're, um, you know, they're, they're suspending a couple of things, you know, having greeters at the door. Um, everybody's supposed to wash their hands more often. Some of the activities we usually do are going to be restricted or outright canceled until further notice. Stuff like that. So, you know, watch out for the beer plague, please. So anyways, I'm going to disregard all of that. No, that's not true at all. Uh, this actually came from within the United States, and I believe it's the first time I've ever purchased from Hasbro directly. I think. Unless it was Trypticon. No, I think I, no, I think I got Trypticon for BBTS. This might be the first time ever buying from Hasbro directly. So, yay me. Uh, actually, this came in on Wednesday, and here it is. I'm recording it. Well, it's 10, 10 p.m., and I've not been doing very good the last few days. I've been in kind of a funk, so I need a distraction. And what better way to distract myself than to do some editing? And by the way, Max Prime, no, this is not the thing we were talking about on Skype the other night. You know, the thing that I heavily hinted at, like, no, this is not it. Actually, by the time we had that conversation, I had already gotten this in the mail, so. Hmm. It's not what you think it is. I've been having a heck of a time getting my CD player to behave itself. It's just, I don't know, like, I turn it on, and I tell it to play, and then it just, kachik, kachik, kachik. I'm like, come on, you were doing fine two days ago, so, what's it doing? Although, to be, to be fair, I've had that thing since late 90s, maybe? Something like that? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, it's been making weird noises. Hello. <laughs> Okay. I believe this came from Pennsylvania, so I don't think I have to worry about the beer plague when it comes to this one. Hmm. Never seen a box like this before. But on the other hand, I've never ordered from these guys before, so at least not directly, so... Hmm. I guess it's one of those, like, limited edition things or something like that. Some stuff on the bottom. Thank you for shopping at HasbroPlus.com. Thank you for purchasing. Da -da 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 -da. I didn't know it was from that line. Hmm. Okay. That's a thing. Um. I don't know if that's included in the box, but we'll find out in a moment. Maybe. Oh, it's leader class. For some reason, I thought this was Voyager. Hmm. Yes, box is so nice. I might keep this. Yeah, sure. Like you don't have enough boxes saved up in your room already. Oh, hello. Oh, I might end up keeping this box anyways because this is the box. Hmm. Okay. So. Okay, so this is, is this, which line is this from? Is this from Siege or, uh, I'm not certain which one this is from. But anyways, this is, Fall, we'll just say Fall of Cybertron Siege, or is it Earthrise at this point? Uh, Gal, what's it called, Galactic Man? Yeah, Galactic Man repaint of Shockwave. And this is leader class figure. Wow, that's a tiny leader class figure. My goodness, are the mighty have fallen. Hmm. Okay, so, yep, I got this. I thought about getting the regular one, but, like, mm, it's a nice uh, symbol on the inside there. Seek Zeon. Seek Zeon. Seek Zeon. Seek Zeon. Seek Zeon. Seek Zeon. So, if I remember correctly, and I usually don't, um, Generation 1, Shockwave, 
which was obviously from Diaclone or something. Or no, it wasn't from Diaclone. It was it was it's from one of the other series that they just decided to throw in prop replica thingies, whatever they called. I don't know. But anyways, um, Shockwave was sold in his original blue coloring. But then somebody, I think it was Radio Shack, might have been Radio Shack. I don't know. It might be Radio Shack. Decided to do a gray and light gray repaint of Shockwave, but they didn't, like, something to do with, uh, um, what can I call it? Something to do with, like, copyright infringement or something along those lines, which they were not nearly as picky about back then. It was still a thing, just they weren't as stingy back then. Um, decided to, uh, I hope this comes with instructions. Yeah, it does. Decided to do a repaint, but instead of calling it Shockwave, they called it Galactic Man. So, this is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive repaint of Shockwave in the form of the Galactic Man. Wow, that's really loose for his... Oh, wow. Nice ankle tilt. Not bad. Oh, does this come with... I don't remember, does this come with lights in it? I don't, I don't think so. Hey, he's got light piping. Yes. Awesome. How many shockwaves do I have? I've got animated shockwave. You can see him right there. That's animated shockwave. Or at least it's disguise form as opposed to the, uh, you know, his true coloring, which is the purple. Had a, had a slight panic attack here. My uh, the little indicator for the microphone being turned on or off was blinking. I'm like, oh god, it's been off for the last you know three minutes, four minutes, whatever it is. And no, apparently not. It's working just fine. So, so here is the Galactic Man repaint of Fall of Cy is it Fall of Cybertron? I think it's Fall of Cy what 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 is this line? How do I keep forgetting? War for Cybertron Trilogy Siege. Okay, yes, this is War for Cybertron. Okay. Giant rocket engines on either side of the shoulders. Love it. Cannons on the bottom of the feet. Eh, whatever. He's got double arms. Love it. He's got arms up here, and then he's got extra arms down here. Friction joints all the way around. Yeah, it's all friction joints, no ratchet. Okay. Uh, I assume the only ratcheting will be in his legs, hips, and knees, and that's it. So, And there's indications of a waist joint, but it looks like his back kibble gets in the way. So you get rid of the back kibble, and he'll be able to uh, pose a bit. You're also going to have to get rid of this. These <gasps> God, that came off easily. I didn't even tap it that hard. Oh, looks like it was not put on very... Oh, yeah, it wasn't put on very tight, that's why. And the left foot's about to go, too. Some nice platform shoes, by the way. Maneuvering thrusters on the back and cannons on the front. Decent for recoil. Although I suppose this is some sort of flying version of Shockwave, so... right there. Nice. Wow, that light piping is awesome. I like it. I'm I'm not I'm not like yay or nay on light piping, but it's like it's good to see the light piping is so damn strong. Let's see maybe I can and then Yeah, you guys can see it. Damn. That's good light piping. That's really good light piping. Very effective. No super effective jokes, please. No super effective. Oh, good. These can move to the side. Okay. That helps. Huh. 
So yeah, anyways, I've got the one, I've got the, the animated shockwave right there. And I think that's the only one until now. I think. Because... I wouldn't mind getting the, uh, I think it's Armada Shock shock Blast, the one that turns into a space station. I wouldn't mind getting that one. I've, I've wanted to get that one for a while, but I just kind of missed opportunities. And the, the one that was like Tidal Wave Repaint or whatever it is, not good enough. Just saying. The head is on a ball joint. This is good. Oh, they even painted the area around his eye. Good detail. And, my goodness, that came off easily. Uh, or did it? Get off. Okay, you... How's that going on there? Oh, okay. So this just popped off all by itself, so... Okay. And this is... Uh, these armor parts here are obviously supposed to be part of the siege line where they've got all those uh, those little armament bots I, I don't know what they're I don't remember what they're called where you can supplement the bot that they're they're attached to it can form additional armor weapons and stuff like that Let's see does this come off as well Let's see oh his left arm is still a cannon nice You want me to do what? I'm trying to remove the backpack, and the first thing it says is to flip these fins around. I'm like, what? You want me to what? I mean, they do rotate, but, like, why would you have me turn them around? I am confused. And that just pegs on as well. Ooh, that's all transparent as well. Very nice. What was that? Oh, okay. I saw something in the monitor. I'm like, mm. Okay, so he does have a waist joint, but again, it's kind of limited because of the backpack. Although, if you lift up on the backpack, lift up on the backpack and that, and then, then you get your waist swivel involved. So, hmm. I don't know. I think I think you can kind of like tilt it upwards a little bit, and then it'll be fine. So, hmm. I just realized two shock waves, and they're both gray. Because this is gray and dark gray, and that one's gray and blue, and actually it's more of a teal, teal blue, something like that, and it's black, and there's a little red mixed in. So no purple on it, though, except for maybe the Decepticon logo, but I don't remember. Oh, and there's white on it, too, but, there, but there's no purple on it. Ooh, it's kind of difficult to turn his head, because, like, you can turn his head, but it be, his... The back of his head pushes up against the transformation joint behind his head, and so what ends up happening is he's always looking down. So, pfft. Still, that's uh, an appropriate enough uh, Generation 1 head design. There's this nice cable that just kind of exists, which is fine by me. I don't think there's light, the lights in this. Usually not, but... I mean, the original one was. I imagine that Shockwave is one of those characters you want kind of minimalist posing, where the arms are always down, but you know he's, like, thinking. He's he's not a bot of action, necessarily. What do I know? It's not like I ever watched you went all the way through to you the point where even Shockwave shows up, so... Shut up. Although he does have one heck of a shrug. He can bring his arms all the way up like that, which is nice, and then... You can actually do it in addition to that. You can put his arm out like that, and he's got a joint. So he's got an extra shoulder. He can do this. He can do a shrug, if you'd like, which is awesome, as always. His head probably disappears. Shut up, Ava. Since I have no idea what this transforms into, other than just a spaceship or a thing, um, I'm going to have to depend on the instructions for this one. So it has, it has nothing to do with, like, uh, you know, figuring it out on my own, but it's just like, I don't know what it changes into, so, like, I don't know how to get from A to B, so. Oh, by the way, I should point out, the top of his chest, that bar right there, the silver bar there, says Galactic Man. Just to remind you where it comes from. That may be where the original one was from as well, so, nice Easter egg. 
No Easter egg, nothing. It's nice that they acknowledge that's there. I have no idea how close this is in coloring to the original, or in, in color scheme to the original Galactic Man, so don't ask me. What am I talking about? I've got a picture over there. And unplug the cable from his left arm. Actually, I had a couple of choices. I, I was looking at uh, uh, Big Bad Toy Store and TF Source. I was looking at both of them and... Um, did that flip around? No. I was looking at both of them and uh, I saw more than a few bots I'd like to get my hands on, but just... Uh, expensive and now's not the time. Oh, um, wait, how, oh, eh. I missed something that goes to the inner side. Or actually, it goes between them, and then that goes, wraps around. Oh, and he's got a wrist swivel as well. So, so you got it on the cannon. Yeah, he's got a he's got a wrist swivel on both of them. Okay. Oh, ow. Yeah, don't use your fingernails for that, Ava. That's stupid. Oh, okay. We've got those. Combiner Wars panels we got to deal with here. Oh, and a little, little hints of red here. It's probably a cockpit of some kind. And together, you can't, you, you, you telling me that's not okay. <laughs> Once I figure out how to transform this thing, then I'll double check to see if there's a. Um, then I will check to see if there's a. Uh, gun mode. Oh, it's so close to gun mode at this point. Might as well. Okay, so his gun mode survived. His gun mode survived. Hmm. Okay, well, it pretty much is. That's pretty much what his ult mode is. So, hmm. And the bridge of the ship is another version of his of his chest, I guess. It's either his chest or his, his, um, his mono eye. I'm not certain. Either way, it's got light piping that's been split right down the middle, so both halves have a little bit of light piping on them. Awesome. It's hard to get that out of there. Oh, that peg's in there. Okay. Hmm. It just plugs in the side. Surely it plugs in on top of the gun. Yeah, it does. Oh, it barely reaches... You really got to make it stretch, but yeah, you can get him into his gun mode. So yeah, you can. Although the cable here is obviously being stretched quite a bit, so uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that too many times. You're gonna rack it up good. Oh, there's landing gear here. Okay. Hey Strider, it's an ion cannon frigate. Yay! Everybody loves them ion cannon frigates. And I think that's it. Oh, it's got some decent missile sitting on the back here, so I'm pretty happy about that. And here is Galactic Man in his uh, very much not uh, space battleship Yamato mode. Is that right? Uh, yep, that's it. We got some missile launchers on the back here. Tilt it this way so they can see. Missile launchers there. And then some very hollow feet sitting on the back. Oh well. It's a pretty gutsy choice to make it do that, but I suppose they ha they had to hide that in some fashion. So I guess I can't com I can't complain too loudly about that. Although it didn't get the waste swivel involved like I thought they would. Oh well. Seems to me the original G1 Shockwave had. Uh, um, some sort of, th or maybe it's maybe I'm thinking of the, uh, uh, what you call it? Maybe I'm thinking of his masterpiece version, where there's a big thing that you wrap around the, around the barrel, or that becomes the barrel. Oh, don't tell me those are pegs. Oh, they are. Oh, that's gonna be a bitch to get those out of there. Oops. 
installed over panels on the top. They peg in on top of his on the top of his shoulders or whatever it is, because his shoulders are up over his head like this, so they peg in right here. It is gonna be a bitch to get those out of there. Oh god. Why did they do that? Just why? Ah, very thing I wanted to avoid happened ouch anyways. There we go. Now it's in. It's a good way of further hiding his arms. So these extra arms actually peg in on the... Is this the bicep? Yeah, the biceps actually plug into a Or they actually snap into a little hole in the top of the shoulder armor. Nice. Oh, and these have wrist swivel as well. Why, why would you put wrist swivel on these? Makes no sense. It's not like you can even add anything. This is a leader class figure. Gosh, so tiny. I imagine that uh, you kind of need to... Um, because this is a siege figure, it's kind of expected you're going to have other accessory parts, whatever he's going to be clamping onto this, because there's pegs. There's peg holes all over the place. Uh, there's pegs on the top here. There's actually peg... There's actually holes on the front of these cannons. Oh, by the way, there's... There's that thing. It is finished. I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty damn glorious, must admit. These turrets do not move, by the way. I'm kind of glad because I'm using them to open and close that, so... Yeah. So... Yes, and then... A nice array of... Maneuvering engines. What else is an engine but for maneuvering? Shut up, Ava. Be because of the uh, because of the ankle tilt, you actually have some thrust vectoring with his feet. That's nice. Unintentional, perhaps, but it's still nice. So, yeah. His thrust vectoring. Yay. He's got a lot of wings on him, for whatever reason. He's got... Uh, let's do it from back. He's got wings up here. A wing out here, and he's got a wing out here. <clears throat> I'm sorry, he's got vertical, horizontal, diagonal stabilizers. Stabilators? Stabilizers, whatever. Huh. Is that it? That's it. And then... Battle Masters and Micro... Micromaster figures become weapons to equip war for Cybertron figures. Fire blasts accessories are included with Battle Masters and are compatible with war for Cybertron figures. Look for others to build the ultimate battlefield. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Nice and simple. Nothing. Yeah, simple. Nothing particularly special about this one, I think. Although I do really like. I mean, the freaking. The, the bridge has its own light piping. Let's see. You can see the red there, and I'm going to cover it. So the bridge has its own light piping. That's great. I love that. And the cannon barrels, or the, 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 the kind of the main cannon barrel thing, he's just kind of nothing. So you can shine light in it from behind, right? Yeah. Okay. So here is uh, War for Cybertron Siege, or is it Earthrise at this point? It just says Trilogy, so it came out... Oh, it says Siege, okay, so yeah, it's Transformers. Transformers, War for Cybertron Trilogy, Siege, uh, Leader Class, or, yeah, Leader Class, Galactic Man, Shockwave. That's what this is. <clears throat> Yay! Oh, I finally have a siege figure. Hooray. Okay, I'm not going to get a bunch of little explosives. Oh, I, I will say one thing, though. Because this is a siege figure. What's interesting to me is, off the top of my head, there are no scuff marks. There's no battle damage paint applications anywhere, which is a thing that apparently did a lot, didn't go over very well with, uh, with the collectors. So this is... Uh... Oh, gosh, that's been way too high. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to re-record the whole thing all over again. Um, yeah, the the, the battle battle damaged um, paint applications. There are none here that I can see. So, whatever. 
Oh, does that? No, it does not. Okay. Okay. All right. That's up with that. This is Ava Unit 4A saying thank you for tuning in. Okay, so it's been about seven minutes uh, since I stopped recording. Uh, I was starting to collect photos, like I, I went straight into editing. I was starting to collect photos, and I noticed with this picture of uh, it was a War for Cybertron Shockwave, like the official one, there's a picture of an extra mode there where he's riding around on his own kibble. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to try and figure it out. Now, actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to check to see if it's actually in the instructions. We'll see what happens here. Because, I mean, all they all they had to do is just... Yeah, the alt mode for the... I mean, all they had to do was just, you know relabel these instructions just to go from shockwave to galactic man shockwave that's all they had to do because he's still a decepticon either way well now he is i guess uh and then you know that that's all they had to do and then the kibble would have had its own alt mode or would have had its own combined form as as the as the siege um what are they i don't know what they're called what are they called battle masters the siege battle masters they're supposed to have their own alt mode but for whatever reason, it's not listed in the instructions. So I get to spend the next few minutes trying to figure this out. On my own. Oh gosh darn it. I have no idea where to start. Well, I kind of do and I kind of don't. This is so ridiculous. It's right there in the official photos. It's Shockwave riding around in his own, his own extra gear. Oh, and there's an alternate mode. Oh, I guess they're just showing that you can, you can. Okay, so yeah, you can attach these things in different locations. So they give it. There's like the official example, and then there's like an alternate version that he can play around with or whatever. So all right, I won't get mad of him for that one. But putting together the, uh, the gear, um, yeah, that's that's an excusable. Where do they like go to the inside? No, they do not. Does this flip around? No, it does not. Gosh, if only I had instructions for these things. <sighs> Yeah, I have... Oh. Oh, they peg in from above, that's why. Alright, so then that means those do... Those do fold upwards. That's weird, because on the photo there, they're not. Goes there, that goes there. Okay. Ooh, that is some friction. That's not a good sound. Oh, these fold downwards. Oh, that's why I didn't see them. Okay, alright. Okay. Well, the friction on those pins is just instantly gone. Grr. Yeah, see, this is the problem. I don't... Oh, there we go. Helps if you zoom in, dumbass. Oh, by the way, the shockwave that I see in these pictures here, it has battle damage on it, but this version doesn't. I don't know what to do with these flippity-flappity things. They've just kind of disappeared. They're on the backside, so... I don't know, I guess it's kind of up to you at that point. Because there's no... Oh, right. That scared me. Um... I guess that's it. Uh, the friction on these, uh... On these shoulder armor here is very loose. Very, very loose. It's going to pop off first chance it gets. Actually, it already did earlier. You saw it. And I don't know what to do with these. Oh, other way, I don't know what to do with these things. They're just kind of hanging out here in the back, so I don't know. But the photo doesn't show me uh, what I'm supposed to do with it. So yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know what to do with it. Darn! So much for taking less than an hour to 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 do this thing so yeah and then you can have uh, galactic man stand on top of his own kibble he can uh, he can green goblin up this shit <laughs> there you go so there's a there's a cute little alternate mode
Actually, kind of reminds me of the. Uh... No, it doesn't. It doesn't remind me of that. Okay. So with that, this is AV Unit 4A saying thank you for tuning in. Hopefully this time I mean it.